Hello and welcome to the Final Whistle podcast channel. My name is Harry and today we're going to look at the managerial career of Patrick Vieira and whether he will be a good fit for Crystal Palace. So let's start off at the beginning of his management journey in 2011 when he retired from professional football after a spell at Manchester City. He took up a training and youth development role at City with the title of Football Development Executive. He was later promoted to the manager of the newly formed Elite Development Squad, which has previously promoted players such as Angus Gunn and Jason Denea. His role here was to try and put these players, you know, get the best out of them, and City could either sell them on to make a profit, which we've seen them do with a lot of their academy products. And Vieira was lauded for his good work with the team and had apparently had a good connection with the players as he treated them how he wanted to be treated at that age. Now, in November 2015, Vieira was announced as the new head coach of New York City FC, who were a sister club to Manchester City. He led New York to their first ever playoff appearance after finishing second in the Eastern Conference. Now, despite losing in the conference semi-finals to Toronto in 2016, that season was considered quite a successful first season for Vieira, you know, by nearly all the pundits out in America. Now, Vieira helped New York uh, City improve its position in the combined MLS standings in each of his years at the club, first of all taking them from 17th place to 4th place in his first season and then uh, taking them to 2nd place in 2017. On June 11th, 2018, Vieira was appointed as the manager of Ligue 1 side Nice, departing New York City in the process. In his first season in charge, he led the club to uh, to a 7th place finish in the league, which was one place greater than what the club had achieved in the previous league campaign. And elsewhere in the French domestic circuit, Nice had had a disappointing run in the Coupe de France as they were eliminated at the first time of asking by Toulouse in the round of 64, which the board were very unhappy about. They were then defeated uh, by EA Gingamp in the round of 16 during their more impressive Coupe de la Ligue campaign. Now, on the 4th of December 2020, Nice announced Patrick Vieira was no longer the manager of the club after a run of five losses in a row in all competitions as they found themselves sat 11th in the league and they'd also been eliminated from the group stage of the Europa League and this Europa League campaign was very poor and it included a 6-1 defeat away to Bayer Leverkusen. The final game in charge for Vieira was a 3-1 defeat at home to Leverkusen and which afterwards the fans were so angry that they blocked the bus route back to the training ground for a period of time and the pressure from these hardcore group of fans really, really pushed the board to sack Vieira. Now it's fair to say Vieira had not delivered what was expected at him at Nice, but now as he takes up his role as Crystal Palace manager after replacing the retiring Roy Hodgson, could this be his chance to show us what he can really do? Now Vieira prefers to play a possession based game, with the formation usually being a 4-3-3. Uh, but also he's used four, uh, three four threes in the past and three five twos. Um, now he likes to play also with attacking fullbacks, which could be good news for players such as Patrick Van Arnholt and Nathaniel Klein, as it will possibly give them more of a chance to get into the game and score goals and get assists. But it'll also uh, show the importance that he has in that position, and they'll have to they'll have to impress him in this pre-season uh, to show to him that they deserve a place. Because I'm sure Vieira won't be won't be shy in getting new players in if needed. Now, Vieira faces a tough start to the season with his first game being against Champions League winning Chelsea, who were managed by Thomas Tuchel. It's going to be a very tough ask for them, but if Vieira can get a good few results at the start of the season, maybe he can do a bit better than some previous Palace managers. The big question is, can Vieira produce the Palace revolution that Frank de Boer failed to do in 2017? At the time, the club wanted to move away from Palace being a, a yo-yo side and a side who were always finding themselves at the bottom of the league. Now, Frank de Boer was brought in to do this and it didn't work at all and he was sacked after a very small number of games and Vieira will be hoping that he can last a bit longer than de Boer did. Uh, do you think Vieira can do it? I think it's going to be interesting to see the project that goes on, especially and to go and see Vieira in the Premier League once again. Thank you for listening to this. Make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe. It'll help us with the YouTube algorithm and also your support is appreciated. Thank you for listening. This was The Final Whistle.